freshman midfielder, Connor McCullough. Yep. How old are you today? 20. 20 years old as a, as a freshman. It's a fifth year thing, you know. Gotcha. Adds up. Tales from the beautiful yeah, state of Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> this is your uh, your birthday cake, He's huh? Going to be in California. Actually, I got a cheesecake sent to my room. It was delicious. Did you tell Erica about that? Did you run it by her? <laughs> no, I did not. But, I mean, she, she brought it out with the calories. I think. <laughs> you just made it up. Sounds good. When we focus on sports nutrition here at the University of Notre Dame, we really focus on maximizing um, our student athletes' abilities, maximizing the performance by taking nutrition and taking their um, performance to the next level. And that is our main focus with implementing nutrition and nutritional strategies um, on a regular basis with our athletes. I'm Erica Whitman. I'm a sports dietitian, program director here at the University of Notre Dame. I work directly with the men's lacrosse team. Um, I also have a full-time assistant, Kayla Matrinik, who's also a full-time sports dietitian who also works with our teams, and she assists the guys as well. We're both present at training table meals. We're um, both around in the office and available to help them at any time. We are located right in our weight room. Um, I think that's a huge benefit in the sense that we get to see our athletes on a pretty much daily basis. We really take an approach to nutrition as it's fun and educational. We're obviously very comfortable there because she's very knowledgeable, as you can tell, with all the technical stuff she knows. So, you know, these are some questions we ask her on a daily basis. Um, for example, a lot of times we ask, you know, how do I put weight on in a healthy way? How many meals a day should I eat? What foods are best for me post-workout? Is there any nutritional value to strawberry milk? How can I look like Scott Rogers? How often should I brush my teeth? More often. <laughs> Do you think I need a haircut? Are you on Twitter? Do you think I have a chance with Taylor Swift? We focus on fueling right every day. We have a training table we offer Monday through Thursday in the evenings to make sure they're getting that good recovery dinner set up for them to uh, focus on the options we're looking for them to choose even when they're outside of um, our monitoring, so to speak. Weebo, where are we going right now? Right now we're outside North Dining Hall. About to walk in, check it out, hit up the training table. When athletes are coming in, we really focus on the athlete as an individual. Whether we focus on weight gain, maybe it's leaning up, maybe it's changing up their body composition, maybe it's a little weight loss, maybe it's um, unfortunately a recovery from an injury. Um, we definitely look at a lot of different avenues, making sure they get what they need on a regular basis. Hello, welcome to Training Table. Um, here we focus on making sure these guys are feeling right after training, after practice, kind of to go over a little bit of the setup we have here. We always uh, put the vegetables here towards the beginning of the line. Uh, fresh vegetables, fresh seed vegetables, uh, make them look appealing, helps them uh, want to put them on their plates. It's always a great start. Um, we always implement some starches, um, good healthy starches. We got some potatoes here, um, a little difference of a risotto with a little tomatoes and uh, feta cheese in it. Um, all of our, we've got some fish here. We focus on getting uh, the good fatty acids in there, so we offer fish regularly. Everything is uh, baked, not fried. We always uh, take care in how we prepare the foods to make sure it's in the healthiest version that we're able to offer. Um, we always have a red meat option here. We've got some good healthy meatballs made with a 90% lean ground beef. Um, we have a red meat option uh, typically every night as well. Um, give them a good lean uh, chicken breast there as well as another option. Rule number one of training table for myself is never skip on the pesto sauce. Ever. Quinn Cully. Training table. Quinn, what are you getting right now? Chicken or chicken? Chicken or chicken? What is this? Is this frozen? Yeah, it's for the stir fry. Oh, okay. We got stir fry. Quinn, when was the last time you let an inverting attackman beat you topside? I think it was the winner of 76. I think it was, Zach. Yeah, yeah, it was. How much of that do you think is attributed to the, green, the greens? <laughs> And some of the fruits that you get at training table. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go mostly onions, but you know zucchini. That can help Wait, big time in are, the long run. Are onions key to defensive midfield? Some would argue that. Some would really argue that point nowadays. So have you been pleased with the training table services so far this year? You can keep walking. It's been solid. Yeah. Um, gotten some good. Putting some pounds on. Yeah? How much have you gained since you showed up on campus about a month ago? Gained about eight pounds or so. Just straight muscle, huh? Straight muscle. My lean mass is going up. My body fat percentage is going down. 
So it's been good. It's impressive. Mm -hmm. What food do you find makes your hair the blondest? How do you think the the granola in your yogurt affects your your face off game? Um, at, at this point, um, I don't know if you've interviewed Liam O'Connor yet, but it doesn't really matter what I do until he graduates, because Liam O'Connor is filthy. Uh -huh. um, um, until he teaches me what he does, I'm just trying to keep up with him. I'm not trying to surpass him. So I'm just, does, does he, I didn't see Liam eating granola yesterday. He so doesn't put granola in his Greek yogurt? No. Take it out. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a Szechuan uh, topping, a spicy thai, and a sweet and sour. Uh, yeah, I'll have the sweet and sour. That sounds great. Okay. You want me to put this on rice when it's, when it's done? Please. Please, that'd be phenomenal. Look at that, getting a little stir fry and training table right now. Just got done with a lift. Just got another interview. This is day in the life of Notre Dame lacrosse right here. Glibo, can we talk about your... Um... I'm asking the questions right now. When was the last time you let someone dodge to the middle of the field, and do you think that the green beans and the salad and the pineapple slices that you had at dinner today have anything to do with that? I've never let anyone dodge me to the middle of the field, ever. We're going to look at the film and see if that's correct <laughs> or not. We are. Andrew, how has training table affected your body fat percentage more than tripling since last year? From, a, from an incredible 3.3% to, uh, what was it this year? I've heard that the bod pot is quite inaccurate this year. <laughs> that's not true. I don't think it will. It's pretty accurate. It's within one to two percent degree of air. So really, to, to make changes, there really is no way to prep for the bob pod. Uh, well, we'll skip my last four meals. I think been thinking skinny thoughts. I've been online all day trying to figure out how to uh, beat this thing, but it seems foolproof. So we'll test it out today. This is our bod pod. What we use to determine our body composition. We look at their lean body weight versus their fat weight. All that they have to do is really just sit in the bob pod. Last thing, final words? Fits like a coffin, you know. <laughs> See how it goes. Alright, so now you're just going to climb in and you're just going to relax final, and breathe fi normally. Final and words? Sit still. Let's just do this. <laughs> I think I'll be alright. This will be shut for about a minute and then we'll open up and we'll do it again. Alright. The real truth is now coming out. So essentially all this does is it gives them all their results, shows them their percentage of body fat, breaks it down into the fat mass and the fat free mass. The one we focus on is the fat free mass, mostly looking to see how that changes over time through the training um, in comparison with their total body weight. If um, the body weight goes up, are we seeing an increase in lean weight? Um, if body weight goes down, are we still maintaining that lean weight or is that decreasing as well? So those are the numbers a lot of times we will focus on as we um, monitor this throughout three years here. We look at them as an individual and as they grow. Um, we focus on recovery and nutrition after their trainings. Um, here in the weight room we have a full station available to them with shakes and bars and fruit. We focus on pre-game nutrition, post-game nutrition, so we look at it from practice all the way into competition. Alright, we also got a wide range of fruit, you know, we got the bananas, the apples, the uh, pears and oranges, so after a lift, you, uh, after a lift, you know, you just come in here and show off to the, to the track girls usually, they're the ones that are in here. Show off to <laughs> them with your juggling skills and uh... You can eat those ones that are bruised now. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave those for someone else, you know. Those are for the freshmen. Let's go. Let's go. In the college life, schedules get busy, schedules get hectic, they get tired. Sometimes they're trying to choose sleep over food. Um, one of my big philosophies is eat before you sleep. Um, so making sure that they're getting that team meal together, I think, is one of the critical components. Want to take my card? Are you seriously filming me right now? How do you like working at training table? I love working at training table. It's so much fun. Thank Who you is know. your favorite team that you get to check in? Men's lacrosse, for sure. Can you I repeat that louder? I love men's lacrosse. 
Hey, Erica, can, can we do? Can we get my body? Can we get my body fat on camera so that we can see that it's no, lower than my Max's? Is well, even Erica is roasting. My body fat's not fourteen. <laughs> now this is my fifth season here at the University of Notre Dame, and I've really gotten a knack with um, knowing how the, the athletes operate. Uh, it's very unique in the setting that we're in here in the um, weight room and being able to interact with the athletes on a regular basis. These really great kids here. What's that? Oh, that's Greek with honey. It's the best part of my day. Whoa, what's up, Clean Plate Club?